Chachi is back and I'm showing y'all how I got my hair like this. Two flat twists with the middle part and soft curl ends. My hair is so cute. I'm obsessed. Every time I work with Elf Sister, my hair turn out cute. So come on, let's get into it. Let me grab a wig. I prepped this wig for install off camera, but if you want to see how I bleach my knots, pluck the hairline, and like prep for the install period, then watch this video linked up here. I'll also link in my description box. But this wig is plucked okay bleaching the knots and plucking the hairline on this wig was a dream i had no problems or complaints get into the color it's like an ombre brown the highlights are at the ends and i'm excited to be trying a new color ao sister get me right every time first things first i gotta do a thorough job of cleaning my skin where i anticipate the wig to be glued onto i did my makeup first and if i skip this step that's me begging for a disaster if you haven't seen the video where i messed up my install by making a whole lot of mistakes skipping a whole bunch of steps then you better watch it i can't skip the alcohol okay so now i'm applying my first layer of glue and i dot the glue along my hairline in the same shape of my ball cap because i mold my ball cap following the overall shape of my natural hairline and i just prefer my wigs to have a similar hairline to my own i've talked about this method in a couple of my videos and i'll link them in my description box if you haven't seen them but even when i'm even it out and smoothing out the dots of glue i'm still blending them out and keeping the overall shape of my ball cap like i'm still gonna blend out the widow's peak like a triangle and my hairline is still gonna come out further near my temples and go back near my sideburns After I did two layers of the white glue, I applied one layer of the clear glue on my sideburns because that's the area that's first to start tripping on you. I had plans after this, so I needed to make sure I wasn't going to get caught slipping with a lifting wig. No, ma'am. Glue is laid, so let's get her on now. I like to center the wig, making sure it's even on both sides before I start tacking it down. Then I start in the center. As I'm tacking it down, you'll see me use my fingertips to see if I feel any tackiness in front of the wig's hairline. If I feel tackiness past the hairline of the wig, I know I need to bring this wig further up. Or else when I cut off the excess lace, I'll be left with glue residue on my skin because I didn't bring the wig far out enough to be aligned with how far out I laid the glue. So I take my time with this and I reposition the wig if I need to before I press the lace into the glue completely. Once I got the positioning right and the wig tacked down from ear to ear, I tied the hairline down with some pantyhose that I cut up because it's just a softer texture and it's less harsh on the lace. But then I put a regular male band on top of that and I blow dried it for 10 minutes. Next, I cut off the extra lace. I already know the shape I applied the glue in, so I'm gonna have to cut the widow's peak in the shape of a triangle. And I know the hairline on either side of the widow's peak is gonna be further back. So I'm gonna have to cut some hair out, which is fine. I bring my scissors up to where the lace is glued down at, and that's how I know where to cut. If my skin isn't tacky in this area and the lace isn't sticking to anything, I know that I can cut that piece of lace off. I don't make sharp or precise cuts. I like to create a jagged line as I'm cutting, like moving my scissor in different ways as I'm cutting. Some people use a razor to accomplish this natural look, but I prefer some scissors, but do what feels comfortable for you though. 
I didn't put makeup on the lace before gluing it down because lately I like to see how it looks when it's on first. Then I can decide what it needs and if it actually needs makeup because sometimes it really don't. But because I have this white cast across my forehead, I am using a small brush and precisely dabbing some makeup on the lace and it started to disappear into my skin. I like to melt my wig twice though with glue and with hairspray. So now I'm spraying some, got to be on my fingertips and lightly depositing that product on to the lace then I tied it down and blow dried it for another 10 minutes once I took that off this lace looked like a dream come true every time AF sister send me a wig my hair look good I think they must be good luck or something this is not HD lace but yet it melted down completely undetectable to a person who knows nothing about wigs because if you're well versed you gonna always know let's just be honest I'm parting out my baby hair and I'm doing the small short part on the side. To start molding the hair in place, I hot comb the hair I'm not using as baby hair back. I hot comb the baby hair forward and I hot comb the hair on the side going down. This is what you call a lace front wig, not a lace frontal wig. So the parting space on the side is limited, but it does go deep in the center. Regardless, my little part on the side is possible, so I'm going to do it because this is the hairstyle I wanted and it was undebatable. I do not care. I parted out my sideburns and I hot combed them forward too. I was comparing all the hair that was left out and I plucked some areas that look thicker than the other side to make sure my baby hair comes out as even and as symmetrical as possible. I like my roots to look really neat and laid so I feel like it showcases my plucking better too so I always use some form of hairspray on them and I hot comb them and that shapes them and keeps them in place and it makes it look like it's really growing out my scalp. I moved on to cutting my baby hair in a diagonal line making sure the front of the swoop was the shortest. I actually didn't cut the ends at all because I knew I was just going to swoop it into the rest of the hair. I guess I could have but I just didn't. Lately, I've been skipping the mini flat iron step and just been back to using mousse to shape my baby hair. I've used gels and hairsprays, but nothing makes them look better than mousse because you can comb them out after it's dry and it'll still be soft and keep its shape without turning white and flaky. I don't really like when my baby hair looks separated like across the street from the rest of my hair. So I always try to make sure I connect the ends of my swoop into the rest of my hairline. When I got them how I wanted them, I tied it back down and blow dried it for a little bit. Then I took it off and started styling the rest of my hair. Somebody come look at this. I had to unhand the new age practices and go back to mousse because what? I had to part my hair in the middle for this style and y'all already know I'm going to press out the roots with my hot comb. I also parted out some hair to cover up the tracks in the back. I use spritz on them and a hot comb to keep them molded in place. I also use a spritz to form the top of my head because when I start doing my flat twists, I don't want the hair to start looking messy as I'm rolling and twisting the hair. I actually could have used more spritz and bought it further down because as I was twisting the hair, you'll see the hair start moving and starting to look like not so neat, but it's okay. I just know I can use more next time. That's one of the things I really love about being able to create this kind of content. I get to practice a lot and it helps me get better. Like it helps me figure out what I like, what I don't like by doing my hair so often like I have the potential now to turn into a monster with this like for real but after I twisted the hair enough I pinned the ends into the cap in the back this is why mousse is my top rated product for baby hair because I can achieve the molded down look or the soft look to soften them up a little bit I just have to comb through them that is such a dream. My bleach bled a little bit when I was bleaching it out. So I'm touching up my roots with some mascara. Then I'm going to make the part pop out more by adding some concealer down the center. Now I'm going to press out these soft curls. The hair flat ironed down nice and easy. It really didn't take much. But this makes me wonder what I look like with chocolate brown hair. Because the brown at the ends is so pretty. 
I saw a girl's video saying that she uses mousse to lay down flyaways, so I had to try it out to see what this hack was talking about. But the last thing I did was curl the ends of my hair away from my face, and that really put the cherry on top of this hairstyle. I love, love, love how this came out. After I got through curling the hair, I sprayed the curls with some hairspray. I love the Sebastian hairspray. It helps curls hold, but it still keeps them soft. I also sprayed a light mist of the Glosser spray at the top of my head so it could shine, and I was done. This is cute, right? Be honest, this is so cute. I feel like this hair gives baby shower or maternity shoot. I don't know why, but I just see someone with a belly wearing her hair like this. Don't get me wrong, I'm obsessed with it, but I was like, damn, I should have been pregnant. <laughs> I just look so soft and motherly. You know what I'm talking about, but I linked all the products in the wig I use in my description box. If you made it this far, I love you so much for watching. For real, for real, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me to be able to create and I appreciate all the support that I get while I grow my brand. But with that being said, this brings this video to a close. I know you wish I could stay a little bit longer, but you know what they say about all good things. But same time next week. Okay, cool. Bye.